this is Suburban Time Waster, and I'm back in Baldur's Gate 3. And as you can say, a whole new area, but I, uh... Well, I sort of accidentally saved over a part, and, uh... Well, this is embarrassing, but I had to kind of restart. Apart from my last save point, and, well, there's some skip footage, but it's not really that important, just me talking my way past some goblins. There. Which I'm gonna do now. Gimbalbach triggered some trap. He needs help now. Hey, I got a ten. Oh, I told it wasn't safe out there. Get inside and I'll rustle up some bandages. Ah, I inspired a story. What do you know? Where do I go from here? And the noise is my dog, in case you're wondering. That's Kate. Got him! Take all this. I am enjoying the latest addition to our little group. Laisel is delightful. In a very look at me twice and I'll dismember you kind of way, of course. Yeah, try to pick up whatever I can. Has a dangerous look in her eyes. Let's just hope she reserves those impulses for any common foes. I want to talk about all that's happened Sorry. to us. What's on your mind? How am I holding up in your estimation? Nothing else. You can at least soak up any arrows that are loosed at us. something it's got nothing well now I want to check on her spells Yeah, unfortunately, I can't really explore the crypts right now because, well, every time I do, I get overwhelmed, and I don't have a fire spell to light up that barrel. I'm too low level, but hopefully I can return one day, day when I'm tougher. I'm gonna level up a bit. Maybe get a fire spell. Wait a minute, why am I playing as Liaisal? Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. What the? Looks unstable somehow. Front 
touch the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. A hand? Anyone? Gale? Let flow some words of prayer to soothe the sigil's magic. Who are you? Just your average traveler stuck between realms. Pull me out, and we'll get properly introduced. Okay, I'm gonna do the druid wisdom thing. Well, seven, uh, lucky number seven. 18? That's even better! Whatever you're doing is working wonders! Now a quick little pull should do the trick. I got Gale! Hello, I'm Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies, I'm usually better at this. No need to apologize. Are you all right? A bit shocked, but friend, it's a relief and a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking, you were on the North Lloyd as well. Never mind the Natalite. How'd you get stuck in that stone? I don't know what transpired exactly, but the ship broke into pieces and I suddenly found myself in freefall. As I was plummeting to certain death, I spied a glimmer quite near where I estimated my body to impact with less than savory propulsion. Recognizing this glimmer to be magical in nature, I reached out to it with a weaving of words and found myself on the other side, as it were. How about you? How did you survive the fall? I took control of the ship, landed it safely, and saved the day. That vast burning wreckage behind you somewhat contradicts your story, but here you stand. So who am I to argue? Still, Swashbuckling heroics aside, I have the unfortunate suspicion your survival is still very much in jeopardy. Back on the ship, you too were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. Were you not? Gonna phrase it more repellently myself. No use sugarcoating it, is there? The insertee we speak of, this parasite, are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? It's a process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? A surgeon? Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle? You seem to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond mm. most clerics' skills. Most? No doubt, but I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. I can tend to basic wounds and ailments, but alien parasites? I'm afraid not. As we've established few enough can. It's not exactly a common affliction. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more? Look for a healer together. Sounds like a plan. You're welcome to join oh. me. I see you're traveling with plenty of company already. Perhaps I can join you later instead. I'll make my way to your camp and embark upon a succulent slow cook to be consumed upon your return. Well, 
empty. I don't really know where the camp is, I gotta be honest. But he could lead me to it. Okay, that was a waste. Okay, so I've learned you're not allowed to have more than four players. Goblins I killed earlier when I was being lazy. And now I'm lost. I forgot to loot this guy. The dragon egg. Chapel entrance. Save again. All right, I want to check out that journal. This is where I killed that surprise guy. I got a lot of them that way. Fifteen, seven. I am fury. I am death. Oh, let's kill this one. That was weird. Miss. This feels good. Miss again. <sighs> we see miss. Let's 
do this. Ugh, only four? Missed again. Ooh, got two of them. Victory awaits. Wanna check something. <sighs> the angles on this is all wrong. <laughs> Miss. Missed again. Oh, come on, miss. I'm going to have to change to a hand attack. <laughs> Only come on. Victory awaits. Oh, come on. Finally got that thing. Uh, what? To oh, guy's gonna die. Well, let's get this thing. I got two hit oh. Oops. At least I got her. Can't give up. Your time has come. <laughs> Not good.
you picked the wrong fight, friend. <gasps> oh, missed. I will ascend. Hold on. Dorian, let's see if you got anything. You had a fire spell? guy let's get this guy critical miss I will ascend I'm the worst luck in this game Let my name be known. I don't even know what happened bits of the past not interrupted. Yes! Took me three tries. I finally got him. Get the hang of this game after all. No lock, no handle. How does it open? No lock, no handle. How does it open? In her life, in life, her service had been impeccable. Daily, daily did she devote herself to the Lady of Loss. Daily did she free herself from the tyranny of memory. All in time was lost to her. Her relations, her preferences, even her own name. Upon the altar of her devotion, placed she the ultimate offering, her empty mind. And when she died, when she awoke, in death and found herself standing in the pale and faded city of judgment, she waited for the Lady of Loss to retrieve her. A million souls and more passed her in colorless guts. Gusts. But no hand materialized in her hand. No voice whispers instruction in her ear. No guidance proffered itself from the bleached and barren sky. Time, immaterial time, passed around her like air, coming and going. And still, the goddess did not come for her devotee. Kelimvor pitied her as much as the Lord of the Dead is able, but could not intervene. The cleric of the Lady of Loss, unclaimed despite her worthiness, might yet have one more lesson to learn, that on a forgetting, but being forgotten. Well, this is the chapel. You do not recognize the language on the plaque. If 
Fine dust coats the pages of this weather book. Beneath the bone white powder, hundreds of short obituaries are recorded in tiny script. Roby and Tickfer, O'Matter, Drowning, Ivan Harkinson, Ogla, Internal Rot, Devin Stout, Saloon, Fever. Oh. Well, I got inside the chapel finally. Taking still me, even after everything. And the meowing is my cat. Gustavo? Moving in. Huh? Not me a sit on that thing. this place. Dense rows of scrawl text. The few legible entries seem to detail the names and final words of numerous individuals. Come see this. It's move. Match pinner. Laboratory explosion. Hmm? Hothcrest. Wayland and Neverwinter Alley. You're blocking my light, Dana Ray. Watered heavy and featherlung. No lock, no handle. Want to try something? No lock, no handle. How does it open? Well, I don't have any skills to open that because I'm not a rogue, and... Wait a minute. Is that it? That's the temple? Well, this is kind of a waste. Something here. Looter's truck. That might be worth a look. Okay, I'm really not in the mood for a boss right now. Like, not at all. This place wasn't built for the living. Let's get that book. An excerpt from the ongoing Metatext, Rebound, by Iosefa Elgin, a scholar excommunicated from the Church of Denar for her herat heretical efforts to reconstruct the Metatext, her god's annal of loss and hidden knowledge. Of what value is a life? Far too esoteric a topic to wear an airy 
Any serious critical consideration between these pages, surely, or so it would seem at first glance. But, what we, but once we push aside the mysticism and dewy-eyed sentiment so often clouding our assessment, it is clear that across all the spinning planes, each and every life does indeed have a quantifiable value. It is simply that not all are equally valuable. Consider we already know that the destruction of our material form is not the end. If anything, our souls are more free after death, transcending planar barriers in search of a resting place that best be fits our deeds, beliefs, and station in life. But even this assessment is subject to market forces. Lord Kellenbor weighing our souls against how thoroughly we have given them over to other gods, empowering them in turn. There is, of course, an alternative route. Not the end of the path, but the chance to retreat it. You tread it. Clerics across the realms wield the power to return life to any soul deemed worthy or willing enough. It is strange, then, that these so frequently intersect with those deemed wealthy enough, for the components for such a spell are beyond the means of most mortals. I have interviewed those who have made such a return, and in truth, have found them to be of the most dull and unimaginative sort that I cannot possibly imagine what it is they were so eager to return. If a true assessment of the journey is to be made, then there is simply no replacement for embarking upon it oneself. Perhaps one day, this great volume of learning will make me worthy enough to walk that path, and wealthy enough to return. Oh, there's more in this crypt. Thank you, historian. The wizard was a useful find. Let's hope he's as powerful as he is verbose. There's a lot of traps here. Historian! Be careful. There are traps about. What does this do? Watch how you go. All right, now let's see what this got us. So, we've picked up a wizard who managed to get stuck in his own portal. <laughs> Hardly a promising introduction. Worth. 
trap. Be cautious. Step carefully. There's a trap. There are a lot of traps here. Press that button again. Uh, still locked. Going back to Gaia. Okay, there's no way past that door. What is this door? Back to where we were before. I'm walking in blood. All right, so we managed to beat those guys, and I explore when I can the ruins. I'll come back when I know how to unlock that door. I hate when I get entangled in those stupid vines. Is there a camp? Yeah, I think I better go back to camp, cause... At your camp, you can take a long rest and fully heal your party. You can also manage party members, advance relationships with your companions, store items, and eventually change your characters and recruit more followers.
No. Need something? First in magic, are you? Of course I am. Nature guides me well. Oh, I do apologize. I meant to ask, are you studied in magic? Namely, are you a wizard? Which you are not. If you meet any elder wizards, let me know. There is a matter I'd like to seek advice on from a master. Okay, talk to Historian, Gale, and there's Lazel. Speak. Where's Shadowheart? I cannot find Shadowheart for the life of me. I see Gale again, but where's Shadowheart? Oh, I think I found her. That's one confusing. I've heard you can't get blood from a stone, but apparently you can get a wizard from one. Gale seems interesting. I want to talk about all that's happened to us. Fine. What's on your mind? How am I holding up in your There's estimations? Nothing. You can at least soak up any arrows that are loosed at us. Do you want to end the day? You have enough camp supplies to restore all hit points and spell slots if you long rest. Oh, is that my sleepwear? So, we're resting here. Um, turning in for the night. Alright, hold on. Hold on, I'm on the uh, I'm on the wrong IGN thing. Uh. I have no idea how to respond. I'm stuck. It's no feather bed, but it'll do. I suppose. Uh, I'm, I'm not really sure what I expected, really. This is all a little new. The night normally means bustling streets, bursting taverns. Coming up in the dirt and resting is, um, a little novel. Mm. 
The right herbs can make a soothing tea if you can't. God, I wish there was a guide on how to respond here. I'm sorry I'm taking so long. I am not prepared at all. Ooh, found it. The right herbs can make a serving tea if you can't settle in. Uh, no, tea isn't really my drink. I'll be awake a while anyway. I need some time to think things through to process this. You rest. I'll keep watch. Thank you. I'll sleep better for that. The pleasure is all mine. A sweet dream. Okay, that was actually a good response. I didn't even find it in a guide. Yeah, I know. I gotta break my dependency on guides. I don't want to talk to the others. God, finding the others is... Oh, there's Gail. Go to hell. Was there anything in particular I did to deserve such a greeting? Oh, nothing. Nothing. I'm just poorly making a point. Go to hell. An everyday expression. So trivial it's almost meaningless. But we've seen hell. It's real. And it isn't trivial. What's on your mind, Gail? Devils, dragons, mind flayers. They used to be abstracts. Pictures on a piece of paper. What a difference a day makes. Now we have tadpoles slithering through our heads like carnivorous feti. That's not abstract. Brooding will get us nowhere. Action will. This ballet of flames invites reflection. But you're right. Let's be up with the lark. Find a healer before the wee one gets hungry. Ooh. Yeah, I'm cutting it close here. There's Lazel. A monster forms inside us, yet you waste time with idle chatter. Speak. Okay, she doesn't want to talk. Oh, great, I'm trying to find Shadowheart again. I can't find her. Now I found her. Doing the rounds, are you? You'd better get some rest. What were you two talking about? What do you mean? You and the pale fellow. We were just discussing the next step. I see. I'd be careful with Astarian. You don't trust Astarian? Trust is a rare currency. Not sure I'd spend it on someone who drew a knife on me moments after I met them. 
Let's hope we rapidly find a healer. And just to be clear, come daybreak, finding a healer is our first priority. Agreed. The sooner we find someone to help us, the better. Good. We might even get lucky and find one right away. As I see it, we're overdue some good fortune. Rest well. See ya. God, I hope I didn't overuse something. Okay, everybody's rested, and there's an autosave, and... Yeah, sorry about you having to watch me stumble and fall all the time. I'm still getting the hang of this game. Yeah, when I'm introduced to something new, it takes me a while to adjust to it. Yes. But hey, I'm getting the hang of it. I mean, you saw me take care of those things down underground. All with one well-placed firebolt spell. Yeah, this camp. Woo, everyone's well rested. And by the way, I looked up the ruins, and there was one thing I forgot to do. Well, it turns out I was supposed to activate the skeleton button, but I only got like two minutes left on the timer, so like I don't really have time to go fight skeletons. So I'm going to have to end this here. When I return, I'll be exploring more of the map, and I'll probably go back and fight those skeletons so I can complete this ruins quest, especially now that I got everyone at full health. Anyway, this is Suburban Time Waster, signing out. And I am really enjoying this game, and I really think I'm starting to get the hang of it. Even if it did take me a few loads that you're not going to see on here because I edited them out. Anyway. Anyway, bye and see you on my next adventure.